So a quick intro, I've been super ill, so I'd have done this ages ago, but that's also why my voice sounds very, very croaky. Um, in this video I'm going to be making a sort of smo printable smoke effect and using simulation and things. So yeah, have a look and I hope you can understand my frog-like voice. And thank you. Okay, first, make us an object. I go with a sphere, but it's up to you. Then scale it up, move it to roughly in the middle of your workspace. And then, once that's ready, we go object and quick effects. and quick smoke. This adds the domain. Scale that up and apply the scale. Now I'm going to make an extra window to pin the domain settings. Drag across from the corner here, change it to properties in this top corner and select the physics tab. And then once you've done you click the little pin up in the top corner and that just keeps that no matter what you've got selected. Now you can select the emitter and change that in the original properties. Select the emitter and change it to fire and smoke and switch on initial velocity. And now you can test a very basic simulation of what you've already got. This little corner in the bottom of the domain, that's the voxel size, it's kind of the size of every cube that's making up the smoke. We're going to want that to be much smaller for the uh, final piece. So you can change that just here. I also like to change the viewport settings to closest just to give a better idea of what each voxel is going to make. And so there we go, we've got the settings all sorted for the most part. But feel free to have a good play with them. The next thing I want to do is change the cache location. Um, I want this to be somewhere where I can easily find it because I'm going to need it later. So for this I just make an extra file on the desktop and make sure the format is in open VDB. Right, so as it is, I plan to do the final bake at a resolution of uh, 256, but for now I'm going to revert it back to. 32 just to speed my speed things up and not be as intense on my computer. So we're going to do a sort of quick animation, get some shape and things going for the final piece. So you press this little circle, turn on auto key. And then when you're playing the animation, any movement will be keyed automatically. So get ready, you press space to play, and then you just grab the uh, emitter and move it around a bit. And 
There you go. Next step will be to save and then increase the resolution or whichever way around you like. It's not that crucial, but I'd save first if you haven't already. Going down to the cache, change the type to all, and click bake all. This will take a while, so go take a break and come back later once it's finished. And once you return, you'll have something like this. So that's great, but I wanted to make something printable. So what we're going to do is save again and then we will be making a new document. In the new file, go to Add, Add Volume, and Import Open VDB. Go to the file where we saved our cache, just select all the files and import them. That gives us just a little animation. It's just done, just like that, nice and quick. So I'm going to do the same window pin thing I did earlier, this time with the smoke selected. This is because I want to be able to see all these grid names. They'll be useful when I create some geometry. So add an object and give it a volume to mesh modifier and attach it to that volume. you can see what we've made. So as you can see it gives the smoke solid geometry which is what we need to print. So now as, you can, as long as you can see the grid names up here you can change the grid name in the modifier and it will, each one will give you a slightly different effect so test them see which you prefer. Now I really like this sort of smoke shape here, but not the angle, the orientation, so to um, change the orientation rather than apply the modifier and then move it, I thought I would keep it non-destructive for as long as possible, and I reposition the smoke. And once I'm happy enough with how it's looking, I just apply the modifier and that just sets it. Um, if you want to, if you change your mind, you can always delete it, make a new object and apply that to the volume again. It's the same way, so nothing really lost there. So I try a few modifiers, just try and smooth it out a bit, make it 
bit nicer but ultimately I end up going for sculpting While sculpting, just try and smooth out any overhangs, any sort of really sharp pointy bits that you're not that keen on. Um, try not to overwork it, or just, I mean, there'd be no point if you did. So, you know, try and keep what you've got. The inflate, the crease, and the smooth I found are the most useful brushes for getting it looking decent. And finally, once you've got what you're after, you just need to make a base, a stand, a chimney, something like that. I know Artisan of All has literally just made a guide on making uh, braziers for flames and things, so maybe check that out. There'll be a link in the description. So yeah, enjoy. And if you make anything, let me know.